I beg your pardon, but could you show me how to make this out? Why, yes, certainly. Your place of residence goes here. You mean my hometown? Yes, that's right. I'll bet you think I'm awful dumb, don't you? But you see, this is the first time I ever went to college. This is my first year, too. Say, that's great. And we're going to be classmates. Let me see your what? Mary Norris. From Texas. Gee, that's funny. I don't believe you're serious. I was never more serious in my life. You see, I'm from Texas, too. Really? What part? All of me. You aren't angry, are you? Well, I should be. But you aren't. Mary? Dave! Gee, I've been looking all over for you. Ah, Davey, old boy. Dave, I, I, I'd like you to meet Mr. Jim. Jim Grant. All you got to do is think of the guy who took Richmond. I suppose you were named after General Grant? Way after, boy. Way after. Let's go, Mary. Just a minute. I'm going to take Mary home. You mean you were going to take her home. I told Mary's mother I was going to look out for her. That's sweet of you. I think I better go with Dave. All right. I'll let you take her home this time. Goodbye, Mr. Grant. Just call me, Jim. Oh, I'm forgetting my bag. There you are, boy. Come on, Mary. Say, Dave, sometime when you're down by the river, drop in. Bye, Mary. <laughs> In a college with thousands of people, there is one gentleman. I'll never forget you for that. Oh, <laughs> Come on, Papa. All right. Go we'll knock him to the The guillotine's got such oh, a muscle. It's you and business is knocking your head. Like that. Yes, I'll put my shoes. <laughs> Benny, Benny, come here. Look. And is you going to stay here together with my boy? Yeah, it looks that way. A pleasure. Now I ain't got nothing to worry with such a friend like you to look after my boy. I can go home with a happy heart. Yeah, that's great. Hello, Benny. How you do? My name is Jim Grant. Oh, thank you. I think we're going to get along together fine. Yes, sir. That's a beautiful spirit. Sure. And to prove to you that I mean it, kid. Yes, sir. I'm going to let you go out and get me some ice, some ginger ale, and some lemons. Yes, sir. Very well. The right over there by the edge of the campus. I'll be right away back. Hey, we use doors here, you know. <laughs> Refuse me, please. Lemons with ginger ale with ice. Yes, sir. Get yourself a package of chewing gum, too. Oh, thank you.
Boy, that's a wow. So there is a Santa Claus. No. That's my father's alias. <laughs> I knew it all the time. I hope you will like my Benny. I do like him. He's a smart kid. He's just like his father. You betcha. Just like his... No. I'm not so smart like my Benny. All I know is the delicatessen business. Pardon me, Pop. Well, that's fine. Thank you very much. I'm thinking of best. Don't put it there. No, I'm putting it. Put it right over here. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not the ice, the ginger ale. Put the lemons down first. Put down the lemons first. Hold the ice, will you? Excuse me, this. Lemons don't break. It bends a little, but it don't break. Give the lemons back to your father. The lemons to the father? Papa, you got to... Look, let's bend the knives like this. My papa's got the lemons, Mr. Graham. What you'll do? You take the lemons, give him the ginger ale, then you put the lemons back on the desk. Put the lemons back on the desk, put the ginger ale, take the ice, and that's the way it was in the first place like that. That's the way it is, eh? All right, now you take the ginger ale. Oh, I didn't understand. You got to refuse me, please. We're making the biggest mistakes, Mr. Grandpa. I apologize. Don't put it down there. Give it to your father. I want him to open it. Oh, excuse me. Papa, take away the ginger ale. I made... No, I think you better hold the ginger ale. You think I'm... Yeah. Uh, I think. I no. Think... Give it to your father. I want him to open it. Yes, sir, Mr. Grandpa. You take the ice. Yes, sir. I got the ice now. See, I'm taking away the ice. Yeah. And I'm putting down the ice over no, there. No, don't put the ice down there. Yeah, I'm putting... Father. You put the ginger ale up there and take a rest. Yes, sir. Mr. Grant, <laughs> Ma Michael, do you like to hold ice a little? You wouldn't want me to hold the ice, would you? No, I don't know. It's my first time in college. I don't know. Look, it's making my ever The people downstairs are complaining, eh? Give it to your father. Yes, sir. Take it. Well, it's time I must go and catch the train, Benny. Yes. That's all right. Let it lay there. Oh, this is the... Don't be mad at me. Well? You got to go now, Papa. Yes. Be a good boy. I will, Papa. Well, goodbye. Goodbye, Papa. Benny! Yes, Mr. Grimp. Where is you? What room did you go in? How many rooms? Are you down there? Fix me a highball. Yes, sir, but how am I doing this? Chop off a little ice and toss it in the glass. Yes, sir. Putting in the ice in the glass. Yes. All right, I'll make one right away. There's the ice. There's the glass. Ah. Yes, sir, you come wait. I'm getting the ice, Mr. Gramps. And I said to him, it's the whole thing there. <laughs> yes, sir. I got in the glasses the ice now. Squeeze the lemon in it. Squeeze in, yes, sir. I squeezed already. What's now coming down? You'll find the gin in that black bag of mine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right away. Front seat. Wouldn't be a second. <laughs> I'm fast like anything. Is this the bottle? What kind? A white one? Certainly, stupid. Yes. How much I shall put in, please? Oh, put in plenty. Yes, sir. Shall I put in till here? No, put in some more. How's this? That's enough. Sit. 
I got now, let me see. I got ice, with lemons, with gym. Where is some ginger ale? Yes, sir. I got it already in my hands. Look. Now I'm taking up the stopper. Oh, by the end of the table. That's fine. The edge of the table is fine. How I'm taking up the stopper? The edge of the table. Take off the top of the ginger ale bottle. Oh, knacking. Uh, yes, sir. I'm catching what you're cracking. Yes, sir. I got it. It's sizzling good. Well, bring it in. Oh, you got one inside the house. Yeah, all modern conveniences. Oh, well, here's looking at you, boy. God bless you. <coughs> What's this? Was inside a fly? Let me take it. Let that be a lesson to you. Never trust bootleggers. Yes, sir. Thank you. I wouldn't trust things then. All right, Speed. Why don't you get me a pair of shorts? Shorts? Underwear. 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 Yes, I know. I'm, I'm not telling you. I'm asking you. Underpants. Is what? Underwear. Oh, Mr. Grant, why you don't make yourself explicit? If you'll only tell me what you want, I'll get me anything which your heart is desiring. Why don't you tell me, please? Under your pants are underwear. Oh, yeah, but it's belonging to me. Mine are in there. Yes. Go get them. Oh, yes, yes, I'm... Which ones do you want, Mr. Graham? I don't care. You want the ones with the lace? Yes, white tie. The ones with the lace. Two different kinds here. One lace is on the bottom and one's on the side. You're getting too fast for me, boy. I'll come out here myself. M. N. Mary Norris. I, I don't know. Boy, this is a break. Yes. I'll let you take her bag back. That's a break for you. I think you. And then I'll slip a note on the inside of it, and that's a break for little Jimmy. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait a second. Wait a second, please. This is more substantial. You didn't cross the sea. <laughs> Never mind, get the bag. Yes, sir. I got it. Come in. <laughs> hey, Fraj. Come here. Here's your bag. Hey, you'll break the fringe. And now I'll thank you for the one belonging to Miss Norris. Why, Jay, I wouldn't put you to all that trouble for anything in the world. Miss Norris sent me for a bag, and I'm going to stay right here till I get it. Oh, Mr. S, please, stand back. Why, day. You know this hotel holds its guests responsible for all breakage. <laughs> I didn't know. Send my compliments to Mary, will you? And tell her I'll be expecting an answer. Fresh punk. Didn't burn anything. Well, everything's okay, Benny, old boy, old boy, old boy. Yes, he went away. 
You got anything on your hip? Oh, yes, sir. A strawberry birthmark. Now I'm trying to go all day, trying to find a boy and say, they seem to hide whenever I come on the road. Now maybe I'm not so hot, but the little bit of it I've got can do a lot whenever that boy is found. Oh, gee, I want to find a boy, because I've got to find a boy. And so I've searched around the town till I haven't found the kind I want a boy. I don't care if he's not a sheep, I'll take him if he is a freak. Because I never hope to find him the proper kind, but I want a boy. He doesn't have to be, but he thinks a football hero boy. He won't roam, he'll feel at home right on my five-yard line. Oh, gee, I've got to have a boy, because I want to have a boy. And so I'm the drum town, so I have to the kind of one a boy. We just find a woman. I, I, I wouldn't know what to do with one. So I'll go into the home. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Come back here. If we find a woman, you won't have to do anything. Get me? Doris, I think I'll go on back. Snap out of it, kid. We can't stay cooped up on a grand night like this. We've just got to find ourselves a couple of nice men. There's only one I'd like to meet. Don't be sentimental, dearie. They're all alike if it's dark enough. Boy, hold everything. Here comes a couple of mamas on the loose. We'll Kodak as we go. Mary! I've been looking all over the campus for you. Have you really? Have I? Ask Benny. Yes, he was every time, every play, every... Oh, yes, then. Doris, I'd like you to meet Mr. Mr. Grant. This is Doris Hill, my roommate. How do you do, Mr. Hello, Mr. Doris. I want you girls to meet my roommate, Mr. Benny Grant. Hello, Benny. How you Hello, do? Benny. How you do? Hello. Hello. Did you get my note? Yes. What is it about Dave? Shh. It's a secret. I just want <laughs> Sarah. Hey, where is she? Keep me up for... What's the matter? <sighs> what is that? I don't know. Maybe it belongs to Doris. It is mine, and I need it. Oh, then I'll give you. Let Mary bring him. Take it. Never mind, I found a pin. Oh. <laughs> Would you like to take a walk? I'd love to. Come on. Do you need to have this? Listen, honey, there's something I've just got to tell you. Oh, yeah, about Dave. No, it's much more important than that. But what is it about Dave? Oh, I've decided I can't tell you. You're too young. Oh, you don't know anything about him. <laughs> the girl's clever, but I do know something about you. And if you coax me, I'll tell you. 
What is it? You're the prettiest girl on the campus. You know, I looked them all over today, hoping to find just you. And I was hoping I'd meet you, too. Then you do like me a little? A little. You think someday you could like me lots? Maybe. Someday. Well, it seems like we have all the necessary ingredients for a wonderful romance. <laughs> you give out big English words, don't you? No, look, Danny. Now, when you were going to high school, did you meet any girls? Oh, lots of them. Well, and did you ever kind of like one, maybe just a little bit better than the other? Oh, yeah. My teacher. Oh, she was so lovely, Mrs. Chemistrank. A beautiful character. I thought from love I'd always be in you. Been all the safe around the month of June. And I've been vaccinated for ills anticipated. But now I'm acting crazy as a loon. Because I've got a funny feeling Round my heart stealing Sets my head a reeling Must be loud do de do do de do de de do This hallucination Is an innovation What a new sensation Must be love Oh Love. Oh my, what am I gonna do? Oh, I think that I've met my Waterloo. My heart was to the pattern. Trouble seemed to scatter. Wonder what's the matter? Must be. hear the words of that song? Oh, yes, in the grand. Well, did you ever take a girl's hand and sort of pull it close to you like no. this? No, wait a minute. Did you ever see that? Did no, no, please, no. What are you doing? Girl, you got some money. Stop it, please. You keep your hands down, huh? And I'll tell the beam on you, and I'll tell the principal, too. No, no. That is, no, you are making me to stand on me good temples now, and I don't, that is no, oh, oh. You're the dumbest freshman I ever met. I don't care. Somebody ought to take you out and give you a good bent of gin and a rub down. It might thaw you out. <coughs> oh, you got your knife. Oh, did you got your knife. Oh, gee, I didn't mean to hurt you, Tim. You're not dumb. I take that all back. You're just real nice. I didn't have sense enough to know it. But I know it now. <laughs> but don't you think... Isn't there someplace else we could win? Huh? Let's go out and get a nice big ice cream soda, huh? <laughs> Would you stay us inside? Now you're talking a language I understand. Oh, do you believe so. me? You believe me?
Gee, I feel terrible that I don't know how to make the latest dances. Oh, gee, let's set it up. I think, I think, I think, I think... What do you think, Benny? I think I'll go find you. Wait, I want to ask, uh, have you got a pen for uh, what time? Is it? Uh, Linda, you got him? I want to make it... Hello, Mary. Or excuse me. I guess I'd better go see what the kid wants. I'll be right back. Do you want to see me, Benny? Oh, yes, I want to see you, Jim. Jim, you can do me hurt. Look on me. Ain't I a boy with some an age, but he has to know about Doris is sitting over there. And you are sitting here with Mary. You know what to talk to me, and I don't know what to talk to Tell me to tell her how I'm so cooking us for her. Tell me, Jim. Help me. I need to be helped, Jimmy. Well, I'll tell you what to do. What? Um, just look into her eyes. And say, Doris, I love you. You are wonderful. Your eyes are like the stars. Your hair is like the spun gold. Doris, I love you. Oh, that's great. Listen. What I told you just a minute ago doesn't go. No? Now watch me. Is running up in <laughs> together. How happy we could all be. If you think that you are funny, take a trip to San Antonio. Little Fido, little puppy drinks his deep my back. Together. How happy we be again. We will have our separate. You will coming down. Oh, sweetheart, can't you love me? Oh, we'll get a piano, need a man, 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 and we'll get a table with rugs with different things. And then, my honey baby, if we are lucky, maybe we'll have a little <coughs> together. Get us numbers. I... Oh, Doris, I am loving you to pieces. Like the moon which is shining with the spun gold and the hair of the moon, I am loving to hearing you. So crazy I am to cooking for you. You take a mother's love for her children is the same love what I'm giving for you.
don't matter. Oh, don't cry, Dar. Everything is fine. Don't cry. And look, look, Dar. I wouldn't catch Pamoni. You think I'm going to catch Pamoni? Don't be a fool. Because you know why I won't catch Pamoni? Because I got a camper bag. Look. See? I wouldn't catch. I guess you're right, Mary. Somehow or another, I don't like it. Already, Mary? Hey, how do you get that way, butting in on my dance? What do you mean, your dance? This is my dance, isn't it, Mary? All right, I'll let you dance with her. She'll probably start with you and quit in the middle, and I'll have to finish it. Thanks. You're welcome. That's all. Let's go outside for a moment. I'd like to talk to you. All right. It is a little warm in here, isn't it? Are you having a nice time? I always have a good time. When I'm with you. I mean at the dance, silly. I'd have a better time if I had all your dances. That's what you say. But you'd get tired dancing all the time with just the same girl. Not if you were the girl, Mary. You know, I can't stand to see you wasting your time on a worthless, insincere fellow like Grant. Please, I thought you promised you would never mention. Oh, I did promise. But it burns me up to see you falling for his line. I'm sorry. So the man, the man has six old doggies, and he took the six old doggies out for a walk, and took him home alone. <laughs> Are you all right, honey? Oh, well now. Gee, just to hear you say that you like me, I would jump to the ocean. This is how wet I would catch him. Have you seen Jim any place? Oh, why, um, I thought he was with you. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll go find him for you.
<laughs> I've any old kid. Go, I have a drink. No, Jim, please. What's going to say to Coach if he finds out about this? Lester, don't you worry about any Coach. Nobody's ever going to guess that I've been drinking. Because I know how to handle my liquor. Uh, Come on, have a drink. No, please. Please, I'm taking you. No, don't take no more. Listen to me. Listen to you? Listen, I ain't gonna listen to anybody. Now, you're too young. Get out of here. Go on. Go on, get out of here. Go on. So good night. Pray for good night. What is it? Did you find him? Yes, he's, uh... He's upstairs, drinking, by himself. Why, you must be mistaken. I wish I was. Oh, I talked to him and I begged him, but he wouldn't listen to me. I'll go up. I know he'll listen to me. Don't go. Uh, yes. Come in. I know you. Oh, this is terrible. What's terrible about? I suppose you're going to jump on me, too. Everybody's been balling me up. I'm all right. Oh, you're not all right. Suppose the coach finds out. I won't let him find it out. You want a drink? Oh, please, if you care anything about me, you'll listen to what I have to say. I do care about you. I think you're the sweetest girl in 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 the whole in the whole wide world. Oh, please, Jim, don't, please. Play. What's the big idea? Trying to make another dame on my liquor? Darkman on Saturday. Why, I'll say we will. But it's not? Hey, it's a sin. Not even a miracle could stop it. Are you sure? Is it you're going to play? Certainly I'm going to play. The coach told me this morning. Yes? That's why I know we're going to win. Oh. What do you want to know for? Well, it's for... <sighs> Excuse me, i got to go jump in a pool. So here, I guess I'll go down and see the stuff. Yeah. Oh, say, mister, I, 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 I got the money for the pool, hundred and thirty dollars. You're a smart boy. You left two sixty after the game. Oh, yes, sir, thank you. Say, you know the gym on the team, if we lose, it'll be our macro. <laughs> a macro? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> See you later, boys, I okay. gotta get down. Right. Good lucky. Not hard lucky, good lucky. What's the idea of this notice about Jim Grant being ineligible? Jim Grant is way off in his studies. That means that he can't play football. Oh, I know, Dean. This college could turn out a whole regiment of five betas, and who'd know about it? But let us turn out just one all-American fullback, and the whole country will sit up and take notice. Oh, let's not go all over that again. We have our rules and can make no exceptions. Then Grant can't play football against Darkland Saturday? No!
Well, if we lose this game, it's not my fault. Grant and Randall are the only two good ball packers we got. And here you go kicking one of them off of the team. That'll do, sir. Won't you let me explain? Nothing you have to say will interest me. But you've got to listen, honey. I'm terribly sorry. Please listen to me, won't you, Mary? Oh, boy. Hi, Hi. Hi. Oh, Hi. Oh, Hi. Hello, Hi. Red. How are Hi. you, boy? Look here, Grant. Get up out of the chair and let her alone. Go on, pet your papers, little boy. You're talking out of turn. <laughs> Jim! Oh! Hey. I'm sorry. Honest, I am. Yeah, Randall! Randall! Can you move your fingers? What are you doing? Be careful now, boys. Gee, Dave, I didn't mean to. Too bad. Too bad, Ryan, old boy. I didn't mean you to. You didn't mean to. It wasn't enough for you to flunk in your study so that you couldn't make the team. Here you gotta put Dave out of it, too. I'm sorry. Well, that helps a lot now, doesn't it? And I hope they run you off the campus for this. I know what I'll do. We wouldn't be losing this game to Darkwell if I have to going in to play myself. I'm going to tell the coach to let me play, and he will let me play. I can see myself in the game, Mrs. Kranz. Franz, we need you. Take the place of the touch bag or the have down. And I am going in the game, and I am listening to him call the signals. 22, 33, 49, 75. And then they are passing me the ball, and I will take the big skin. Coming back someday, then everything is going to be peachy. Please take this, kid. It'll make me feel a little better. 
you. Trust me, I'm... Not that I don't appreciate what your offering is to me, but I don't want it. Bye, Benny. Goodbye. Jim. delve into the psychology of retroactive emotion, my friend, you will find that the excretion from the lacrimal gland causes the effect of... Try this on your gland! But I'm merely explaining... I do sir. need to oh, explain... Don't you know? Hard work. Catch up with your studies. I realize that. But it's the toughest thing I've ever done in my life to come back here and prove to you and the rest that, that I'm not as big a heel as, as I acted. <laughs> All right. You may move into room number 42. We'll find it unoccupied. Thank you. Well. Would you please... Give me the room number of Benny Crant. Well, I certainly. 36. Same as last year. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm going to take you up and down in zero Dixie time. I'll help you. What are you, doll clothes man? Don't look on this suit. It's a brand new suit, and I don't want to get rid of it from there. Well, uh, the fact is, uh, uh, Kranz, you see, uh, they are repairing the uh, the plumbing in my uh, former room, and uh, the recorder has requested that I uh, domicile myself with you. The recorder should drop dead. I uh, hope that uh, the arrangement will prove a benefit to our scholastic achievements? Why, my dear kindly fella, you could learn plenty from me, Struggle. 
stubble. Oh, yes, stubble. Uh, yeah. I'll have you to understand, friends, that uh, my grades have always been the very best. Oh, now listen, don't take offense. Don't take offense. What I mean is this. You're catching me wrong. About women. What are you knowing about women, Bubble? Uh, stubble? Stub? Stu Double. Make up your mind who and, you are, uh, will you please? I'll have you to know, Kranz, that women have no place in my scheme of existence. <gasps> Beef buff on you, I can only look at you with one eye for you to say such a kind of thing as that. Do you know the women has got the things in this world, the work to care? Every day, it has September, April, May, and all the rest have plenty to... Be careful. You mean, down. I presume, that... Yeah, I, don't, I don't mean anything. You don't catch him. <laughs> you were speaking of women. Yes, I want to see from where it's coming that suit. I know that fellow. <laughs> I know him. Look here. Women is like this. It's all segregated into three different kind of classes, maybe four, maybe five. But I'm only fooling with three this season. That's A, B, and C, one, two, and three. They are known as fade-outs, wows, and pushovers. I'm crazy for you. I am liking you to pieces. Look, I could give you a telephone number. I know a telephone number. Yeah. Hello, Benny. Jim, you, you came back? Oh, gee, I'm crazy to look at you. Oh, you big son of a gun, you. I'm so crazy to see you look at you. Hey, Stumble. Stumble. Yeah, Stumble. <laughs> I'm crazy for you, kids. I'm liking you to pieces. You know what I'm going to do for you? I'm going to let you go get me some iced ginger ale with lemon. Uh, would you really like to have them? Why, of course. Well, then, uh, go get them yourself. <laughs> well, that's all right, Benny. Nothing for me, thanks. What do you mean, nothing for you? Well, I mean, just... I'm off that stuff for keeps. You are... <laughs> didn't you have the one who told me a man must know how to handle his liquor with women, didn't you? Yeah. But I guess I was a total loss with both of them. Aw, oh, come on, snap down out of it. This was a long time ago. Let bygones be bygones, and the future is gathering no more. Uh, but who are you uh, rooming? Nobody. I'm doing a solo up in 42. I guess nobody yearns for my company. Huh. I don't blame you. Hey, Struble! Stubble. <laughs> All right, Stubble, baby. You look, I'm crazy. I'm hugging you. I'm cooking for you. You know why? Look, how would you like to go in, in room 42, all by yourself, alone, single handle? Uh, I trust you won't be offended, Cran. And but say yes or no. Well, I was on the point of uh, suggesting that myself. You mean that you will go in 42? Yes, gladly. <laughs> MJ, the Uns Bay Usher. -ay. Come on, Come on, Stubble. Now I'm Stubble, it's going to be a bubble. Hold yourself in, coming out. Here's your nice little scissors. <laughs> Give him the book. Learn your lesson. Oh, Jim, you and me now. Ain't they going to be great? You bet it is, <laughs> Oh, boy. My Benny, you, you changed so that I wouldn't even know you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's more like it, kid. Hey, listen, have you, uh, is Mary still in college? Oh, you bet your life she is. And you should see her, Jim, now. She's a different kind of a... Well, there's nothing wrong, is there? Oh, uh, nothing huh? She's a lady now. She's blossomed out. You should... You see her tonight at the party what they're going to have here? You mean a party? Well, sure, we're going to have an orgy. An orgy this evening? Of course. We're going to bring a lot of girls to have a big party. Here in the dormitory? Oh, no, no. In the college club room across the street. And you mean Mary's coming there too? Why, of course. I saw her today. She said she wouldn't miss it on her bed. Oh. What's the matter? Nothing. I take off my coat and make myself comfortable. Oh, yeah. You must be tired from the train. Well, kid, I'll tell you how happy I feel that you are here. I'm going to have a little snaps. The prodigal playmate is coming back again. Are you positive you would never train? No, thanks, Benny. <laughs> it's good stuff. You can only get blind in one eye. Oh. Ah, oh, everybody. <laughs> How's it going down the line? Everybody's enjoying themselves? Say, what's that? The flat coat has 
pot, will you give me one? <laughs> what do you want? A female gender or a masculine? Oh, well, I care. Look at the Look at that triple enjoying themselves. Well, I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be here. Well, look at the difference. People are saying, Jack. I've never been so humiliated in all my life. I shall report this to the dean immediately. Yes, and I shall report you too. Yes. I shall write my father about this, and I'm sure his lawyer will do something. Have any? What are you hanging around in here for? My dear sir, I shall have you to know it's not my pleasure to be hanging here. Yes, father, I say my pleasure to people working on you. You're a skeleton. Go ahead. Don't drink any more, honey. You've had enough. Hey, yo. What are you telling me? That's only four? That's a... I think you better go home. Well, you think, eh? Pardon me, honey. While I come to me, will you? I got ideas. Tell me what I'll do with you. If you sing a song, then I'll go home. Sure, I'll sing for you. You would? All right, now, wait a minute. Don't sing yet. Wait a minute, now. Everybody be quiet now. Doris is going to sing a song. Huh? Everybody, shh. Quiet now. Come on, take. Well, come on, play. What are you for? I thought some love I'd always be amused. Then all we'd say from the month of June. And I'd been fascinated, or ill-anticipated. But now I'm acting crazy as a woman. Because I got a funny feeling, while my heart is stealing. That my head of feeling won't be Here's the music. Can't you be sweet if you keep winning? You'll be winning every inning. From January to December. Look, here's one thing you always should remember. If you're just a total wreck and you fall and break your neck, <laughs> laugh the blows away. If the doctor suddenly gives you just one more month to live, <laughs> Laugh the boys away. You can fool the doctor, you can make him hold his breath. But they'll find it a poor smorgum that you laugh yourself in the death. You've seen Peter at the gate since you're just ten minutes late. <laughs> Go and shower coal.
I don't know. Oh, somebody get a napkin. Yeah, don't get them. Don't stand there. Somebody do something. Oh, 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 oh. I'm so sorry, Benny, but, but they say you'll be all right very soon. I don't know, Doc. I heard what the doctor said. He thought I was unconscious. Oh, looks like it's a good night for me. No, Benny, no. Oh, Mary. Mary, do something for Benny. Make it up with Jim. Gee, he's such a swell guy. Oh, I hate to see that he wouldn't have any friends in college after I'm gone. Benny, I promised your father that I'd look after you. We've just got to pull you through. For him. He's here. Shall I bring him in? Papa Lamb, don't worry, everything is going to be all right. Papa understand. I'm sorry, Mary. Oh, that's all right. I'm not hurt. Mary, the coach took me off of the scrubs today and put me on the varsity. I hope you make good. Oh, he said I was all right. Starting me out against Godwin tomorrow. Well, that's fine. Would it make any difference to you if I played a good game? Of course it would. I want Santa to win. You don't understand. I wish I could make you... If you would only say that you like me like you used to, and really mean it, instead of just putting it on for Benny. There'd be a lot to forget, Jim, before I could do that. Well, I'm on my way now to the infirmary to tell Benny the good news. It'll pep him up lots. Well, so long. So long. How is he, Doctor? I'm afraid he won't last till morning. Isn't there something you can do? Well, there may be just one chance, but a slim one. An immediate blood transfusion. Then it is a chance. Perhaps. Then you've got to do it right now, Doctor. I'm here and there's nothing for you to wait for. Well, it's only just a chance. 
But if you want to go through with it... Of course I want to go through with her. Only, please don't noise it about. You see, I wouldn't want the kid to know that I did it. I understand. But you're out for football, aren't you? And tomorrow's the big game. Oh, that's all right. I'm... I'm on the scrub. Everybody knows that. Let's get going with this blood transfusion. All right, the boy, we'll make the test. All right, folks, time in again. It's the fourth quarter in the big game between Dartwin and Stantec, and there's only a minute and a half to play. This is the last quarter. The score is still Dartwin 14, Stantec 9. It's Dartwin's ball on their own 30-yard line, third down and eight yards to go. They're in a huddle now. They're coming out of it. Stantec's lining up. Wait, hold on. Oh, there's a substitution going in for Stantec. It's Grant. I believe, yes, it's Grant, folks. It's Jim Grant. Oh, Jim, come on. Kick it. Damn it. I'll stop the radio. You'll get agitated. Hey, I'm all right, Pop. Oh, look, ain't I come to let you see? Jim. Grant substituting for Randall. What's the number? Four. Bah! I don't see what they let that guy play for. Grant's in the lineup, all set to play. He wasn't able to get started against Dartwin in the first quarter. Something seems to be the matter with him. Got the dope on him. Never mind now. We'll see what he's got now. All right, they're lined up again. Dartwin's going to kick. Grant's running to take the catch, and he's running like a deer. Ooh, that was a beautiful catch, folks, but Grant wasn't able to get away. The entire Darwin team nailed him right in his tracks. Down to Stantec. The ball's on a five-yard line, and only one minute left to play. If Grant's got anything, he has to get underway with it, and wait. Darwin's lining up now. Stantec's going into a huddle. Thirty-four, Played a wonderful game. Ah, right, go on. I just had a lucky break. <laughs> pa, look how modest he is. Hello, Papa Crayon. Hello. How do you do, Mr. Hello, Dorothy. <laughs> how do you do, everybody? Hello, Dan. Hello. <laughs> oh, you young idiot. Trying to commit suicide. about, Jim? I'll tell you what I'm talking about. This young fool gave a pint of his blood to save the life of a friend, and then went out today and tried to play football. Why, it's enough to kill him. Jim, you... Jim! Happy day! Happy day! 